Welcome to Pricelink. Pricelink is the all-in-one Walmart software where you can go ahead and build product lists, scan wholesale sheets, as well as you can monitor products. You can view the Walmart catalog through our catalog database, as well as you can also set item level alerts, and there's much more to come. Within the dashboard, you're going to be greeted with account level information, so you can see all of the products that you have alerts for. You can also go ahead and you can see the latest ones. You can see the history, as well as what changed. And scrolling down, you can also go ahead and see all of your tracked items. To the left, you'll see all of the tabs. The first one is going to be My Lists. The second one is going to be the catalog, and the third is going to be the alerts. Within the lists, you can see all of the lists that you created. You can create a new list, as well as you can also import a single product, and also import a file. To create a list, click Create Lists, and then give it a name. After that, click Create. Once you've created a list, you can then hop inside, and you can go ahead and you can add products to your list. You can either do that by adding a single product. You just need to enter in the UPC code, the item ID, or the link for it on Walmart. Enter in your cost, and then go ahead and press import. You can also choose which list you want to go ahead and send it to. And once you're done, your product will be visible here. You can scroll over, see your cost, see your profitability, as well as all the other information that we have. If you'd like to import a file from your wholesale supplier or a leads list or any other file that you have for products, click import file, upload your file, press run and let the magic happen. Within the product page, you can go ahead and set filters for your list. By dropping down, you can go ahead and set a filter for the Walmart ID, the brands inside of this product list. You can set for category filters, sellers, rating, stock quantity, etc., etc. And you do this by just clicking right here, let's say for the number of sellers. Then I can filter by greater than, lower than, or equals to. Additionally, if I wanted to filter by a specific brand, I can choose equal to or not equals to. So I can actually exclude a brand if I don't want to see it. And you can do this for many of the other filters. For the product level information, by clicking the down arrow, you can see all of the seller information as well as the buy box information. Buy box sellers will be highlighted in green. You can see who the seller is, the price they're at, the stock amount, if it's available or not, the quantity. You can see their fulfillment method, when their shipping is available for, pickup, as well as delivery. And you can see this for every one of the offers. You can also go ahead and view the product on Walmart by clicking the shopping bag, as well as the name. You can view the product inside of our product viewer, or you can go ahead and set an alert by clicking the bell icon. You can also go ahead and set an alert by clicking here. So go and click on the three dots and then press create alert. When you're creating an alert, you can create an alert for different fields. So this is going to either be the total quantity, the WFS stock of an item. You can also set an alert for the price and you can set an alerts for multiple other fields. By clicking the buy box price, for example, let's say I want to set an alert when the buy box price is greater than 688. So I'm just going to put here greater than $7. Now, whenever the buy box price is greater than $7, I will get an alert. Alerts are currently set out via email and you can choose to have them trigger once. So if I want to go ahead and I only want to receive this alert once, I would just click it. If I want to receive it indefinitely, I would just leave this unchecked. And then I would press create new alert. To view your alerts, you're just going to click the bell icon and then it's going to bring you to the alerts page. This is going to show you all the alerts that you have and it's going to show you all the products that you currently have alerts for. If you set multiple alerts for the same item, those are going to be visible underneath the drop down menu. Here you can also see which ones triggered as well as which ones did not. You can see the value, the condition, when it was last triggered as well as when you created it. If you want to go ahead and delete it, you're just going to click the three dots and then you can remove all of them or you can remove individual ones. Lastly, we have the catalog. Underneath the catalog, you can filter through all the items that we currently track on Walmart, which is around 3 million and we're adding more every single day. To view these products, you can go ahead and do the similar to the list where you can click, you can set an alert and you can view all the other information that we track. But the real use for the catalog is the filters. So with the filters, I can currently go ahead and I can filter by all of these different variables, but let's say I want to sort by a specific brand. I would just select brand and then do equal to or not equals to. And then I can also layer these on top of each other. So let's say I want to see products with a rating of greater than three. I can go ahead and put that. Now all of the products that I'm viewing have a rating greater than three. I can also say, show me products that have more than 10 reviews. 
and then I can do so on and so forth until I have very specific products that meet my criteria. The sky's the limit with this and you're really only limited by your imagination as this can be used in so many different ways to browse the Walmart catalog to find so many different products. The last two sections are going to be the billing as well as settings. And that's going to be the complete tour of the Pricelink suite system. And currently we are in the soft demo phase and there are a lot more features come. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.